hear me. Good afternoon. My name is Abdul Nasser al mugirbi That's how you pronounce it. Uh, I'm the Senior Vice President Digital for ADNUC. Uh, ADNUC, an oil and gas company, a national oil and gas company that's been in operation for more than 45 years. We have been a solid and a reliable supplier of oil in the market, of energy, of refined product and petrochemicals. We are also a company that's fueled the growth of the UAE. And we are so proud of our company that we thought maybe we need to go to the next step. We're looking forward on how we're going to develop ADNUC to meet the challenges of the new and the future demand. As you know, global energy demand, like Dr. Sultan talked about and our ministers, is growing. And it's fueled because there are a bigger middle class coming on the market, consumers are more. And to understand this and to become an oil company of the future, we have to change. We have to embrace innovation. We have to embrace change. We have to embrace digitalization. We look at this as our way of fueling the industry 4.0, the future industry 4.0, the future revolution. We call it oil and gas 4.0, like Dr. Sultan said. And we see this as a methodology for us to be agile, to be flexible, to impact and speed up the decision-making process. Because in this day and age of information superhighways that are changing and <coughs> social media, everything gets impacted by everything. You hear people in the East impacted by people in the West, and so on. Where does an oil company fit in this? An oil and gas company? Do we transform ourselves into just an energy company? Are we a products company? Regardless of where we go and regardless of our smart growth strategy and how we want to be a reliable supplier, digitalization fits right in the center of this. So where does our digitalization start? Our digitalization starts with our big data. Everybody said it's culture. Dr. Sultan said it, it's culture. Yes, but the foundation is big data. The foundation is connectivity. We have 14 operating company, and you can see them right here, are all connected. In reality, we are operating in one <coughs> geographical location. So on the ground, we are connected through pipelines throughout our facility. We share utilities, we share products, we supply and give to each other. We do a lot of work together. Yet, our decision-making process was not, was not combined. It was in a silo base because we are 14 operating companies, upstream, downstream. And all of you understand the difference in culture between upstream and downstream, between manufacturing and the cowboys of the upstream, where they make so much money, and we need them, definitely. <laughs> definitely we need them, OK? But, Digitalization has always been a part of the downstream as well. Remember, we are the original IoT. We had sensors everywhere. We were operating the plants using these sensors in a closed network. And we were doing this for such a long time. Now, this has moved out. Now, what did we do in ADNUC to cater to this? Based on our big data, our connectivity, which was already there, a lot of subsurface activities and data. We connected all this in one location through uh, network, through fiber optic networks, through Wi-Fi, through 5, 4G, made this connection in a secure manner, in a closed network, and we brought all the data in real time to ADNUC head office. And we put it in one floor, we call it Panorama. It's an exciting uh, journey to build that, that place. It's a 50 meter screen that looks like what you see it over there. Beautiful. The place looks uh, like the enterprise of uh, Star Trek, <laughs> actually. And it will help ADNOC to go where no other company has gone before. That is for sure. Okay. <laughs> now, the way we see it is that data is there. We collaborate with people in the oil and gas companies, oil and gas industry. Uh, the likes of our normal and standard contractor, but we're looking beyond that because the new technology of artificial intelligence, algorithms, data analytics are much more advanced in the other, in the other uh, industries, in the social industries, in the marketing, in the sales, 
everywhere else. Yet, we, in oil and gas, we've always been very traditional. In the beginning, I think in the beginning of the 20th century and beyond, we were the innovators. We drilled where nobody could go. We drilled in Siberia, we drilled in the North Sea, we drilled in a very strange and difficult places. And we led the Industrial Revolution, the third, the second. We were fueling it. Now, how do we fuel the fourth Industrial Revolution, oil and gas 4.0? We do this, actually, by harnessing our big data, by putting the connectivity. But what's more important, I think, is changing our culture. The culture that we have currently is still a very traditional culture. Our decision-making process takes a very long time. A company of the future needs to take decisions very fast, and they have to be accurate. They have to de-risk their investments, understand how to de-risk it. Things are moving at a light speed, you know, at warp speed, and we really have to cope with this. And to do this, we need the information readily available for our management, for the leadership, for our engineers, and at the same time, allow these decision processes to go fluidly into the business process. That means we have to reduce cost. We have to look at how we optimize. It's not oil and gas at any cost. It's oil and gas at a cost. And the cost is very important now in the future because that's sustainability. Also, digitalization will help in the environmental, reduce the environmental impact of our facility. The initial stage is measurement, monitoring, knowing what are we producing, knowing what are we wasting, knowing how we impact our environment. We all live in this environment. We are not polluters. We are trying to minimize the impact of our pollution and impact of our operation. All oil and gas companies are working on that very hard. But how do we do it? We do it through measurement, through optimization, and through reducing the, our energy footprint and doing a lot more cap carbon capturing, doing less with more, and digitalization helps with that. How do we help with that? Because currently, Easy oil is over. Now we have to go into very hard, difficult to, to extract oil, difficult to extract gas, which are very unsafe. Some of our oil reservoirs have 25% H2S. It's a very poisonous gas that can kill. Very little, parts per million can kill you. So how do we reduce the impact on the environment? The impact on the people. By going into remote operation, by doing a lot more into robotics, drones, all the new technology that is used everywhere else, we need to start adapting it. And that's how we are doing it in ADNOC. We are looking, we created the digital di division, and we are working with the, all our partners, our young people in, the, in ADNOC, really, to make this happen. We're bringing in ideas. We are no longer looking at ideas that are proven 100%, because once they are proven and somebody else has adapted them, by the time we come to install it, they're already obsolete and something new has come. So how fast can we be in taking the decision to adapt new technology? We, are, we were innovators. Technologies that we created, we adopt. But then now, there's technologies that are coming from outside our field. They're not from the oil and gas. They're coming from the aerospace. They're coming from the military. They're coming from different location, different industry. How do we bring this into a very risky business, a business that's very lucrative, yet it has a large impact on the environment and it's impact on people. <clears throat> the way we look at it is ADNOC is on the right track. We have our leadership committed. We have the country committed to innovation. We come from a history of vision that are maybe bigger than the size of the UAE, but we have grand visions. And we have people that are capable of implementing that vision of the UAE. I thank you for coming, and I hope you visit us more. Thanks. <laughs>